All right, everyone. Um, so in this video, I will be uh, showing you the 12 bar blues progression and give you some ideas for turnarounds to get from one segment to the next segment and uh, explain how it could be used in a clinical setting. So first, you know, the 12 bar blues is one of the most popular progressions, not only in blues music, but in pop music or surf rock, you name it, it's been done. Um, and it's very beneficial to use in uh, different practicum settings. So the standard order of the 12 bar structure uh, uses the one chord, the four chord, and the five chord. I was gonna play it in the key of E. So that would be your one chord right here, open E. And to find your four chord, every time, you're just gonna go right underneath. So if you're in E, you go right underneath to A, open A, and that's your four chord. So if you're in G, find your four chord right underneath, there's your C. And then to find your five chord, from the four chord, you're gonna move over two frets. So you start on the four chord of A, and then you're gonna go A sharp is one fret over, or B flat, and then your B is your five chord right there. So before we get started, I wanted to talk about having a good posture. You wanna to try to keep your back as straight as possible, not raising your shoulders too high, but to just sit relaxed, keep your back straight. And then uh, in terms of your hands, I got a good tip a while back, was to think of my right hand as an empty glove. And you can just keep it relaxed. Don't tense it up when you play because then your tone will sound, uh, won't sound too good. And also your left hand, you know, try to keep it relaxed. Have good control over it, but just keep it nice and, and smooth and relaxed. And so I'll show you now the order of going from the one, the four, and the five in the blues progression. So if you're counted out, you're gonna hit the one chord four times, and then you're gonna to go to the four chord two times, and then back to the one chord for two more times. Now you're at eight. Then you get to the five chord once, the four chord once, and then back to the one chord for two more times to complete the entire 12 bar cycle. So I'm gonna count it out as I play first, and then I'll show you the fingerings. So starting in the key of E, we're gonna hit the one chord here, and I'll count with you all the, all the bars. So it's one, two, three, four, then to the four chord, five, six, back to the one chord, seven, eight, to the five chord, nine, to the four chord, 10, and then back to the one chord for 11, and 12. And so now I'll show you the, the actual fingerings to get that, to get that 12 bar all set. So what we're gonna do with our index finger, we're gonna get on the fifth string with on the second fret, and we're going to be alternating between the index finger and the ring finger, which is going to go on the, the also the A string on the fourth fret. And you are going to play your one chord here, the E, that string open, along with these two each time. So it would sound. And then you're going to go back and forth with those two. And you can form your fingers like you're holding a pick and I can I have a pick here and I'll show you real quick some proper pick usage so what you want to do is hold it closer to the tip than actually holding it out because when you hold it too far out you have no control over it and it's really flimsy so you want to move your finger your thumb and your index fingers are what you're using here and you want to hold it closer to the tip so you get more control and you're holding it straight towards the strings and you get a much louder sound or in this case I'm just going to use my thumb which you can also do and I rest 
my hand here on the body to get some support. So here we go. We're going to start with the E chord. And I'm having my index finger here, second fret, fifth string, A string. And it's going to go in, it's a 4 4 count, 4 4 measure. And we're going to count one and, so it's a full beat on each finger. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. And then you're going to switch to the four chord. So all you have to do here is shift your fingers down one string. And now open A is your your home chord, your home note, and you got your index finger on the second fret on the D string now, and you're alternating still with the ring finger on the fourth fret on the D string. So they're staying on the same string, just moving down one. One and two and three and four and back up to the one. So you're shifting the fingers back up, same same frets, different string. One and two and three and four and and now you're gonna move to the five. You can leave your index finger on this second fret A string. Your ring finger was on the fourth fret uh, A string. You're just gonna move that down to the D string, same fret for the five, and that's your starting starting notes. And then you're going to take your pinky, and it's kind of a stretch. You're going to have to get it out to the sixth fret in between. So it's got the same pattern as the first two. And you can move your, adjust your hand. You don't have to just try to move your pinky. You can adjust your hand so it can stretch and reach. It is difficult at first, but with practice, it can be done. And I'll show you alternating ways to do this as well. So you're going to hit that one and two and three and four and and then back to the four chord, which was A open, index on the second on the D, ring finger on the fourth, one and two and three and four and and then end it back up on the E, e chord by shifting these fingers up a string. One, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and... And there's your 12 bar progression right there, going around. So you can practice that over and over until you can get more comfortable and pick up the tempo. And so now I mentioned that there is an uh, alternative way to play this if the stretch is really uncomfortable for some people you can actually just go straight to a B7 chord here because that is your 5 chord for the key of E so I'm gonna play the entire bl blues progression again and uh, I'm gonna add some lyrics now before we move on because that'll help really clear uh, clearly see how the progression sounds so this is something you can do, you know, in the clinical setting. Um, write lyrics with some clients, with a group, um, and then bring them in, fill in the blank. So I'm just going to use some lyrics here, and we'll talk more about how you can use them in the group setting. So we can start. I woke up this morning is a pretty popular phrase for a blues song used in clinical settings. So. Let's try that. Woke up this morning and I felt like crying. Then you're going to repeat that and move to the four. Woke up this morning and I felt like crying. To the one, and then you can move to the five. My baby just left me, and I felt like I was dying. All right, so let's.
let's get back to that. Uh, do that one more time and get back to the five chord. So I woke up this morning and I felt like crying. So here we're going to hit the 5 chord. Instead of doing this one where you have to stretch, I'm going to go straight to the B7 and then play that over. Well, my baby just left me to the 4 and I felt like I was dying. So let me try that, show you that again. So it's going to go woke up this morning and I felt like crying well I woke up this morning and I felt like crying well my baby just left me So that is actually a good way to show a segue into turnarounds because this is actually one turnaround you can use that works well. And it's just a nice way to end one segment and get you smoothly into the next one. So let's try that again and when I get to this I'll show you one. So I'll show you right now starting from the five. Um, so it would be the, the second verse. My baby just left me And I felt like I was dying So then we're hitting this once And then back to that B7. So basically what we're doing is instead of hitting the last two bars just on the E we're hitting it once on the 11th bar and then the 12th bar serves as the turnaround. So, and this turnaround, what it does is hits the open A once, then that A sharp or B flat, and then straight into B7. So I'm going to start back on the fifth before the turnaround, the five chord. My baby just left me. I felt like I was dying now Let's try that all together here So I woke up this morning And I felt like crying Well I woke up this morning My baby just left me And I felt like I was dying And then back into the 12 bar Next verse, you know So that's one way of doing it There's another turnaround I'd like to show you Where you actually just write up the bass line chromatically. So we'll start on that on the five chord right before the turnaround. My baby just left me and I felt like I was dying. And right there, right when you hit the E chord once, so this time it's on the eleventh bar, you start on the the fourth fret here on the E string and you go straight up chromatically, step, half step after half step, up to the seventh fret. So it's and then that same B7 chord. 
So now you're still doing that B7 turnaround on the 12th bar, and you're cutting it, cutting off the E chord earlier now on the 11th bar. So I'll do that one more time without interrupting, and I'll show you. So it's on the 5. My baby just left me, and I felt like I was dying. Also play this B7 chord up on the seventh fret on the E string using the same fingerings as you would here. If you want to make it easier and not have to shift. But that's your call. You can mix it up. You can do both, either one. So let's try that all together now from the beginning. One, two, three. I woke up this morning. Oh, see there? I just changed to the four quickly. That is an option. I'm just habitually doing that in my life because I've played a lot of blues, but that is an option. So I'm going to show you that. I woke up this morning. And I felt like I was crying. Here's another little addition. You can add the pinky there to the fifth fret. Well, I woke up this morning. You can add it here too. And I felt like I was crying. Well, my baby just left me. And I felt like I was dying. So there's that. Now I'll show you a really uh, neat turnaround here involving the, the treble strings. So what we're going to do here is... So once again, we're going to cut off the 11th bar right when we hit the E. And what we're doing is using the G string and the E string. So we're skipping the B string here. And we're going to slide. I, I like to use my middle finger and my index finger. And we're going to start on the 4th fret. So what's nice is pretty much with all the fingerings you're using, the you're not going past the 4th fret on most of it. So that might be an easy way to remember some of these. So we're going, starting on the G string, 4th fret, and then the, the high E string, 4th fret. So you're lining these fingers up, keeping them on the same fret. And you play back and forth, G, E, G. Then down one fret to the 3. And move down again to the two. And then you're just going to hit the one fret, first fret on the G string. And then instead of one here on the E string, it's actually open. So. And then that same transition to the B7. Open A, B flat, B. So it's base. It's basically the opposite movement of this transition I just showed you before. Going chromatically up. Now we're going chromatically down, but we're hitting two strings. So let's try that in in the context of the song, starting with the five. Well, my baby just left me. I felt like I was crying I'm gonna try that one more time, a little slower And my baby just left me And I felt like I was crying Let's 
try that from the top. I woke up this morning Then I felt like crying Well, I woke up this morning There we go. That's three turnarounds you can use there. Um, so with those lyrics, like I said, it's great songwriting uh, method, but it's also could be used for improvising. You can just play these chords and hold the musical container and just keep that 12 bar up and allow, you can uh, allow people, clients to to sing over it, to just do vocalizations over it. We've even had moments of bringing in uh, a xylophone or other instruments that set up in the pentatonic scale so they can start soloing while you're just playing that. And you can have those lyrics, some set lyrics that you can sing over it, or you can leave it open for the clients to write a song. Um, Woke up this morning is a great way to get like a fill in the blank started. Woke up this morning and I was feeling blank. And then everyone can can start writing the resolution line to it. You know, there's so many options to use and it's this progression that can take you in, in many different directions. So I uh, strongly recommend using this in many settings. I've used it and it's been successful for me a few times now. Um, and I think that's it for the blues segment, and we'll see you for the next one. Thanks, guys.